Okay. Okay. What's wrong? <laughs> Baby. You've been tossing and turning for a while now. I know you haven't been sleeping. Can you turn towards mommy, little dove? Please? There we are. There's my favorite face in the whole wide world. Mm-hmm. Is too. What's wrong? Yes, there is. <laughs> Something's up. Tell me. Don't look at the time. Don't worry about that. I'll go to sleep when I know you're okay. Now what's wrong? Hmm? Bad dream again, or... You just have a lot on your mind? I see. And do you want to talk about it? Baby boy. You know you can talk to me about anything, right? No matter what day or time it is, I'm right here. I'm always going to be right here to make sure you're alright. You know that? Okay. Okay, my little prince. So what's going on with mommy's boy? A lot. Well, I'm not going to force you or pressure you to tell me whatever's on your mind. Whatever's got you tossing and turning tonight, but... You can if you want to. At any point. And... Whatever it is. Whether it's your anxiety or your feelings. Something that happened earlier or a while ago. Even if it's just your insomnia. It's alright. Okay? To feel things. To let ourselves feel them for a little bit. I'll tell you what. How about I keep you company? Okay? I'll keep you company throughout all of it. Because sometimes we don't always have the words to express all that we're feeling. And sometimes we don't even really fully understand it ourselves, but it never hurts to have someone else around that can be there for us through all of our sleepless nights. And that's what I'm here for right now. Here. I know what's gonna help my baby. Why don't you turn around for me? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just like this. Now snuggle back into me. Yep. Perfect. Just like this. You're gonna be mommy's little spoon. I know how much you like being my little spoon, right? <laughs> yeah, you do. That's my sweet boy. And he loves feeling small and cozy with his mommy's arms wrapped around him like this. It makes you feel safe. Hmm? Hmm. Good. Good. Because you are. You're safe with me. And I've got you. Your mommy is sweet. Soft. Perfect. 
and I just want to make sure you know it. These arms are here to keep you warm and remind you that you're loved, that you're not alone, and that you're safe. They're going to keep anything bad out there in the world away from you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just like shields. That's perfect. <laughs> you're so smart, baby. And anything in here, in this cute little head of yours, you're safe from all that too. Mm -hmm. I promise, because my arms and the gentle little squeezes they give you, they'll pull you out of anything that gets too big or too scary too tiring. Nothing can get you here. Nothing gets through me, okay? Do you understand? I'll help you carry anything that gets to be too much or too heavy. I'll protect you when you feel tired or defenseless or weak. Just like I always have. Always. That's what mommy's for. How about I tell you a bedtime story to help you sleep? Mm hmm. <laughs> we can do your favorite one. Yeah, I knew you'd like that. <laughs> All right, my pretty boy. Close your eyes and just listen. Try not to focus too much on anything, okay? Just listen to my voice and feel my arms around you. And just breathe. Just like Once upon a time, there was a mommy, <laughs> a mommy who had a crystal heart, and it was so pretty in the daytime, and even more when it glowed in the dark at night, but it wouldn't stay that you see, she was once overflowing with the love in her crystal heart, and everyone could see it, especially in the darkness. And it was so full, and she had so much in it that she shared it with as many people as she could. The ones that she saw really needed it even got extra, and everyone was happy for a while, but it wasn't long before they became greedy, and it became dangerous. They wanted all of her crystal heart to themselves, those who she thought were people. Well, some of them were just beasts, and goblins, and trolls. She even saw some of them transform into big, scary demons that tried to rip her apart with their teeth. And their hands became claws, clawing at her chest, bruising her, scratching her, scarring her. And as she fought, her heart broke because she remembered their faces when they were human. How kind they looked. How 
how sweet they seemed. You see, they had only pretended to be people. Humans. So they could own her crystal heart. So they could get every last drop of love out of it. And she had been so open and hopeful. Naive even that. The thought never even crossed her mind. That others would do such a thing. And. With their clawing. And their biting. And their fighting they took. And they took. And they took. And she fought and she fought and she fought. And she escaped. Running to safety. Never looking back. She had survived. Except, after tending to her wounds, the mommy decided she would never give the little bit of love left in her crystal heart to anyone else ever again. No matter what. This made the mommy change. The mommy became sad, and then hurt, and then angry. Just a cycle of sad, and hurt, and angry. An anger that changed the sky, the weather, the things around her. It wasn't sunny and light in her world anymore. Everything lost its color. It always rained were stormed, and she had no one, and she just wandered for a very long time. Then one day, as she searched for answers and light in her seeming descent, she found it, the answers, the reason she saw colors, faint, but there, they were there. As she looked across the last mountain she climbed, away from everyone and anything that she'd ever known, she saw something dimly glowing in the distance, someone not too far from her, struggling to get up the mountain. She thought to herself, I've only seen that glow once before, as she looked down at her own chest. So, the mommy very cautiously followed them. She hid behind trees and bushes. She tried her best to not make a sound. She wanted to know where they were going, if her suspicions were right. And they were, because one day she saw the person's chest as they cleaned their own wounds, like she once had, and how right in the middle of it, there was a crystal heart. It was faintly glowing, but it was there. They were just like her. And they too had the same experience. In complete amazement, the mommy snapped a twig by accident and the person with the faint glow jumped up, ready to defend themselves. They quickly turned around for their weapon, but by the time they looked back to her, they froze. And there she was, holding her robe with just enough space for them to see. And they did. It was open just enough to show them her own faint glow coming from her own crystal heart. She had shown them why they had nothing to fear. And in a mutual silence and understanding, they embraced each other. They held each other and cried and cried 
and the more time they spent there like that, holding on to each other, the more they began to see a glow emerge from between them. You see, their crystal hearts that were almost empty by the time they met each other seemed to have regenerated and healed themselves, healed each other upon contact through their hug. And after that, they cried tears of joy. And they spoke of their past, their lives, how they'd fought the same monsters, how they'd survived it. And they spoke of their future, what they wanted for it, how they would live it, together, forever. And that's what they did. They explored the world together and made memories and laughed and laughed and loved and loved and all was well. Always. Because they had each other. So they lived happily ever after. The end. You still awake, little one? <laughs> Sleep well, my heart. We'll always have each other.